Good morning. It is Monday, August 22nd. And uh, today's exciting day. We are slack packing over to Rangeley, about a 13 plus mile day. And we got to meet Mike and Julie from Adventures Over 60, uh, <clears throat> who follow both myself and Tanya on social media. And I actually, we both, I think, actually started following them. They have a YouTube channel. And we started following them uh, prior to the hike. And always wanted to meet up with them and uh, hike with them. And uh, today is the day we got to finally meet. And they put us up in a hotel overnight, which was really nice of them. It's great. Thank you so much again. And uh, we're also going to have dinner with them tonight. They're doing trail magic all day today at US 4. So, so excited to meet them. Just hoping for good terrain because we got off a little bit late again today from uh, the cabin who we were dependent upon them and their shuttle services and a little bit of a drive back here to main 17 and we didn't get off till like 9 15 so uh, we'll probably get into rangely a little bit later than hope than, than what we'd hope for but uh, that's the way it is so yeah another piece of exciting news Guess who we have back today? We have Zobi back with us today. Woo! Little pond looks like a great place for a moose sighting. No moose. Haven't been that fortunate yet. A little steep rocky down. You always have to be a little careful on these. Alright, we are out looking for a moose because we both heard it. I heard it the first time. I heard it again. You heard it again? Yes, I just heard it again. There's a moose out of here somewhere. I mean, close to us, because we both heard it. We are gonna find it. Or we're trying to find it. We've been on this quest to find a moose. Well, if he's in here, he's pretty well hid. We did not find him, see him, whatever. Hopefully we will get our moose yet. At least we heard one. So we're pretty sure that these are moose tracks right here. Yeah, look, they're big. Yep, right there and there. At least we found the moose tracks. There's a moose, and it was a bull. Well, we went down that fire road to look for the moose, found moose tracks, but no moose. Now we gotta go back up the trail and climb up rock ascent to who knows where, right up that. Let's get it. All right, down here at Swift Pond. No, no moose. This is uh, like an official campsite down here. So there's a privy and there are canoes down here that are left here that you can actually take and go out on the water with. Really nice, It'd be a nice campsite. Another pond, 
with no moose. Keep passing all these moose habitats, seeing all kinds of moose poop, heard a moose today. Have not seen a moose. Uh, hey, we are less than a mile away from finishing this uh, hike up. And uh, man, I gotta say today, it's probably the easiest day we've had terrain wise in weeks. Um, so nice to be able to get some momentum going and actually be able to make some mileage. Really nice. We'll be out just a little bit before four o'clock today. And uh, yeah, it's really good, really nice. Good day, got some trail magic waiting for us down here. Yeah, I can't wait to meet Mike and Julie. <laughs> All right, there they are. And Sonar. Sonar, we've been hanging out all day down here. Mike and Julie. I've been trying to catch these guys since Georgia. I know. <laughs> you blue past uh, you've seen. Our friends are over here. Sonar. And back there. Horizon. Horizon. Who I you kept calling Verizon. The other, um, she went home. Yeah. And where's your pooch at? It's yeah, where's your pooch? Well, uh, we just have a new one, and so she, she's in the kennel. But the okay. big dog is at home. This is okay. Mike and Julie's new black lab named Carrie. And they are, Zoe and Carrie are getting to know each other. And Carrie is only 13, 13 weeks. Yeah. What a cutie. Hey, Carrie. And he's already bigger than Zobie. Hey, watch it. <laughs> Little dog, big heart. Big adventure. Little dog, big like heart, big miles. adventure. Zoe, do you want to get the duckies? Is that what you want to do? Get the duckies, buddy. You want to get the duckies? Get the duckies, yeah. They're all right out there. Wandering around. Good morning, everyone. It's Tuesday, August 23rd. Spent the night here at this lovely uh, hotel. I think it's Town and Lake, it's called. Um, yeah, here in Rangeley, um, Maine. And uh, was provided by Mike and Julie from Adventures Over 60, who follow both myself and Tanya on social media. Thank you so much, guys. This was lovely. Uh, man, really enjoyed the stay here right on the lake. Really beautiful. Um, the plan for today is to uh, check out of here at 11, get some lunch, and then head back to the trail. Um, next few days is not looking promising with the weather, but we'll just make do. And uh, heading over uh, Saddleback Mountain over the next uh, day or so here. And, um, and then up over the Bigelows after that. All right, well, we are back on trail, heading up to Edie Lake, about 3.7 miles up where we're gonna camp for the night by a pond hopefully see a moose and uh got about a thousand foot climb up to that point so not too bad got our full packs uh with a full resupply so carrying a little heavy but not too bad and the train so far looks pretty good so here we go i've been doing a pretty steep climb here for a few hundred feet up and uh Hopefully it levels off here in a little bit. I think it will. All right. Probably got about a mile, mile and a half to the tent sites. right here by Edie Pond. Tanya's got her tent set up right here by the pond. That's right. She's really happy because she's going to get first look at the moose that's, that's right. going to pop out There's gonna be a in the big morning. Old moose right here in the morning. I'm back up that way. These boats are chained up, I believe. I don't think you can use them anymore. Pond is really pretty and we are hoping to see a moose here. 
There is a nice saloon out there. If you can see him, there he is. And I hope that the saloon starts looning. Hope he's a looney tune. Good morning. It's Wednesday, August 24th. Slept at Edie Pond last night. Supposed to be a good place to sight moose. And guess what? No moose. Bummer. Well, our quest for a moose. We've got a couple weeks left out here. And uh, hopefully... We'll see a moose by that time. They climb in here, so. Yeah! Getting up around a tree and over a rock. Uh, but yeah. Wasn't like a pro. Yeah. Made us all look bad. So, rained all night last night. Packed up everything wet. Not raining now, which I'm happy for. Uh, going up and over the saddlebacks today for about a 10 mile day and uh, just hoping the rocks aren't too slippery on the way up and on the way down but looking forward to a good day hopefully maybe we'll get a view despite the clouds because uh, I think rain is in the forecast again today so totally socked in it's been raining a little bit phone isn't working much because of all the moisture on top of saddleback mountain just glad it's not storming but uh no views so probably won't be filming much today as long as it looks like this yeah at the summit of saddleback uh totally socked in but uh, glad it's not storming on us. I was on top of Saddleback before, but I wasn't. Now I am. Here we go. This is the summit. I got a little bit of a break in the clouds right here. These are about our only views that we're probably going to get. Darkness on the edges of my face. I pray to God every single day that it's going to be reach the summit of the horn saddleback horn as it begins to drizzle and be very windy but there's a little patch of blue sky back there just one little patch yeah maybe it'll open up and who knows oh the trail is a water source today after that rain last night just came down the horn, really rough section of rocks to come down, especially with the being so wet. It was uh, really, really slow, really, really tough. Man, that section that we just came down of rocks coming down uh, the horn, man, I think that's been one of the worst of the whole trail so far. Uh, primarily due to the fact that it was wet with all the rain, we just got down it. But man, it would have been tough coming down even without the wet rocks. But with the wet rocks, man, I was really slow. It was tough and uh, really dangerous. I just hope, uh, hope it's over. I don't know what 
the future holds But it's gonna be alright Alright It's gonna be alright Exhausting climb up before that was an exhausting and mentally tough climb down. It was so uh, challenging and scary with the wet rocks. I didn't even want to stop and try to film anything. Plus my camera's wet and wouldn't let me. So, but yeah, got some views up top up here now. Which is nice. Muddy Paws, you're a mess. You're a mess. Say, I know, I know. All right, made it to Saddleback Junior. We have some views, which is nice. But I fear we have a rough down on the other side. And we're already banged up. All right, almost to the tent site tonight. Have about another half a mile. Uh, we have possibly a stream to ford up here, uh, which we definitely may have to do because of the amount of rain we've had in the last day. Uh, we'll see when we get up there about four tenths of a mile away. Uh, was a good day of hiking. Had a lot of additional rain. A lot of slippery rocks, roots, climbs up, climbs down over dangerous rocks. Um, a lot of little slips and falls. Yep, it was kind of a tough day, but good day. Did end up having some views. Didn't think we were going to, but uh, overall it was a pretty good day, but pretty treacherous day for some climbs down, but nobody was hurt. Well, I can hear the stream. Sounds like it's flowing really well. I'll be really surprised if we don't have to ford it. Well, Fireball and Detour, our friends, say no way, they don't think we should try to cross it. It's too high. I'm gonna go down and check it out. Yeah. Like, I just feel like... There are no other camping sites, so... Um, as far as I know. What about if we tried going that way a little bit? It looks a little better. All right, let's Over go there. down here and get a look. Okay. Find, see if we can find the stepping stones that are supposed to be there. Yeah. Well, right here on those stepping stones is where we're supposed to cross. I don't know. It's going to be knee-deep. We'll get a look and see, but the uh, current looks pretty strong. Uh, I don't know about it myself either. I don't know if I want to try. Well, we get a look. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you are, you're there. Look at Zoe looking. Awesome. Doing great. It's actually this one is down in the floor. Poor Zoe shaking. I know, but Zoe's like, the water's off the coast. There you go. Come this direction. Got it. You're through the worst. I'm so glad you guys were here. All right, great job. Everybody made it. Yeah. We this river, now we gotta climb up this mess. Jeez. Uh, 
All right, got our uh, tents all set up here on this road. And uh, here with Fireball and Detour as well. Tanya in the back doing her thing. She's all happy that she didn't get washed down the stream. I'm when happy she's, that I didn't when she, anything yeah. falling 30 times. Today. Zobie's happy too. Zobie's all killed up in here. Zobie's nice all warm, happy. Trying to get him but warm. We have a nice setup. It was a tough 10 miles today. Yes. But a really good setup here. We're going to go down. I'm going to go down and show you the, uh, the water source, which is also a waterfall. Oh, okay. yeah, which waterfall. is really, really nice. Yeah, I'm going to go show you that. Yep. So coming down to the waterfall here, which is actually our water source as well. And, uh, that way, 